So today it's World Mental Health Day and I thought that I would um, do a video because I haven't done one for ages um, about depression and let me just so I've got a little list that I've done on my phone so I don't forget what I'm, what I'm supposed to say because I tend to go off on a tangent. Um, yeah, about how to manage depression basically. Um, I have Asperger's, as you probably are aware by now, if you've seen my other videos or whatever, or if you've got me on social media. Um, so I'm prone to getting depressed and stuff. Um, so I've been through all that time and time again, and you know, once you've been through it a, a, couple, a few times, I think you, you kind of learn how to deal with it and what to expect and everything. Whereas like the first couple of times it's like, oh my god, the world's ending, don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm kind of used to it now, as morbid as that sounds, so, you know. So, the first thing that I would suggest is healthy eating. And I know this is easier said than done for um, a lot of people. I really struggled with healthy eating. Like, I didn't even think that that was going to be good for me um, until like this year. Um, and it wasn't until this year that I, you know, decided to stop eating meat and dairy and everything, um, sugary foods, salty foods, oil, um, and I've lost quite a lot of weight and been going to the gym and everything, and I feel fucking amazing. Like, you know, I've still got, I've still got hang-ups and stuff. I'm not, I'm not, I'm nowhere near like where I want to be, but mentally. I feel a lot better and I feel um, in control of my life, which is is good because, you know, that's something that I've struggled with since as far back as I can remember. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I know that's, that, that is difficult and when you're depressed, you kind of shut down and your self-preservation and everything goes out the window and you don't really care about yourself or your, your, or your health um, but you know if you try to make it a priority either you know by meal prepping or just buying food that's healthy um, and having that in the house because another thing is when you're depressed you tend to not go out of the house as much I don't anyway and um, so if it's not there then you're probably not going to eat it um, make sure that you're eating enough and um, that's a big thing because you know well it depends what kind of person you are and how you react to the depression but me personally um, I'm either one or the other like I'll overeat I'll eat my feelings and then feel really fat and horrible afterwards or I might eat anything Um to be honest it's rare that I get like you know, I'm, I'm not eating anything. Um, I usually just eat everything and then, you know, hate myself afterwards. But these days, like, I've kind of learned that food is in itself a medicine and, you know, you should take advantage of um, all the natural things that you can eat. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not very good at verbalising things. Um, another one is exercise. I again, I can't stress this enough. Exercise has. It sounds cheesy, but it it's probably saved my life along with the diet thing. And you know, when, when I'm feeling like stressed out or you know a shit day or whatever, I'll just make it a priority to go to the gym as many times as I can. So not every single day because you know shit happens and um, things come up like you can't stick to it all the time but you know as, as much as you can as much as possible and um, even if it's like two three times a week it's still something and um, and it gives you something to occupy your mind you know instead of being sat at home feeling sorry for yourself um, and you know ending up wanting to do silly things and stuff uh, and it makes you feel good about yourself physically as well because, you know, if you feel like you need to lose a bit of weight or whatever, um, or tone up, or one of the things that's making you depressed is, is your body image. Um, it obviously helps with that and 
you know, your physical health inside, which is paramount. Um, the next thing is spend your time outdoors. Again, well, all of this is easier said than done. Um, so in no way am I trying to make it sound like it's easy peasy. It's not. But going outside more, um, you know, obviously it's going to do you the world of good just to get out there. Um, preferably like in the countryside where there's lots of fresh air, where there's hardly any people about. It's great. And then when you, when you come back, you feel recharged, you feel a lot better and you feel calmer. Um, I mean, I'm lucky in the sense that I live in South Yorkshire, so there's lots of countryside and that around. Um, I don't drive, so the way, the, um, the place I'm in now, um, it's quite far from the countryside, but I, you know, I go up there when I can, and it makes me feel loads better. Uh, cutting out booze and drugs, this is one of the biggest ones. To be honest, I spent years of my life um, using drugs and alcohol and the main reason for that was to be able to talk to people <laughs> when I went out. Otherwise, I would feel kind of like, you know, really socially inept um, and too shy uh, and boring and, you know, I just wanted to be more like everybody else. But, you know... The flip side of that was I really um, sabotaged my health, my mental and physical health, and it became a huge problem, and I can't handle drugs and booze as well as other people, so I decided this year, um, well, initially I was going to stop completely. Um, I completely stopped taking drugs now, like, I can't remember the last time that I took drugs, um, and to be honest, the very thought of you know, sniffing anything, taking anything, it just makes me feel fucking sick, to be honest. I'd never do it again. Um, every time I've I've had on drugs has just not been a very pleasant experience for me, to be honest. Um, and alcohol, I now, you know, just drink in moderation. Hardly drink at all. Um, when I do, I make sure that I'm in control and nothing bad's going to happen. Um, you know, I'm in a stable frame of mind before. I have a drink, otherwise, you know, I might end up crying and, you know, all that kind of stuff, which you don't really want to be doing. Um, the next thing is keeping your circle of friends small. Um, and I don't mean cutting people off, I just mean only spending time and talking to people who kind of understand you and aren't going to make you feel like shit. Because when you're feeling depressed, the last thing you want to do is surround yourself with people that don't really give a shit um, and make you feel like you're being weird or you're a burden and that. You don't need that. Um, even, you know, trying to make new friends, which, again, is difficult when you're depressed. I can appreciate that. But it can happen. Um, I've made a really good friend this year um, who's been absolutely amazing and... Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Um, in fact, I've made quite a few friends recently and I appreciate every single one of them and my old friends as well, but sometimes you've got to cut people out or stop talking to people as much if if they're like an, a negative um, influence on your life because, you know, if you're, only, if you're already feeling negative, then you, you don't want any more, otherwise it's just going to you know, <laughs> make you feel absolutely rock bottom. So the next thing is, I've put, I've put music, but I, know I can I can appreciate not me, not everybody likes music. Um, but definitely being creative and immersing yourself in creative things, whether that's writing or or music or art or something that you're interested in. Um, and just yeah, either learn something new or just use something like that to occupy your brain. Um, I mean, personally for me, music's like my main, <coughs> excuse me, my main like passion in that. I'm not amazing at actually playing music and writing music, but you know, in terms of 
bands and everything like that like I'm well 100% into it <laughs> um, and that is what makes me happy and keeps me going primarily so yeah I've been kind of focusing on that a lot recently um, another thing is you've got to be patient with yourself um, it's very easy to fall into the trap of thinking oh I'm not good enough I'm not doing well and you know I've had a bad day today so I'm a piece of shit and nothing's going right and all that like it is so easy to think like that but you've just got to think how far you've come and what exactly you're dealing with like it's not easy it's incredibly incredibly difficult so give yourself a break and just keep going um the next one is I, again i don't know if this is for everybody not everybody likes animals but um i got a rescue dog and you know just having her in the house and being able to take her for a walk and stuff like that has helped so much because you know you come home and if you've had a bad day or whatever you just have to look at the little face and they cheer you up um, and you know on the days where you don't really want to leave the house or you don't want to see anybody or do lots of socializing and stuff you can just sit and have dog cuddles <laughs> um, so yeah I would if you if you if you are going to get a pet I would uh, suggest getting a rescue pet though don't buy from breeders bad um and the last one is again it's a bit corny but believe in yourself and don't give up and that's it I think I can't think of any more things um, if you've got other suggestions, um, leave a comment below. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.